All right, my friends, welcoming you to Yoga Nidra, the art of conscious relaxation. You are welcome here today in whatever state of being you're in. We're here for the next 30 minutes to take a time out from all of the usual comings and goings and doings and spend some time just being. Some would call Yoga Nidra a guided meditation. Other people might call it a relaxation practice. I think it's somewhere in between those two things, but it is also thought of as a state of being. Yoga Nidra is a state of being. And yoga meaning union or connection, and Nidra meaning sleep. We are in this state of being where we're between wake and sleep. And the parasympathetic nervous system is activated, meaning we're in a state of deep relaxation. So our brain waves are slower, our breath is slower, our heart rate, our blood pressure lower. And so this is a a state of being we hope to achieve through this practice because we want to do this because the research shows that it's been helpful for a number of issues such as pain, such as stress, and a lot of the research showing that it's great for sleep issues. That's what it's sort of most well known for to help with sleep. Um, However, during the practice itself, our goal is not to sleep. It is to hover between wake and sleep in this liminal space. It's so juicy where we can experience a different sense of time, a different deeper sense of ourselves. So let's go ahead and get ready to practice our guided relaxation meditation state of being known as Yoga Nidra. And I want to offer you the invitation to either be sitting up or reclining. So if you're somebody who really struggles with um, staying awake during Yoga Nidra because your body is so tired, it's okay if you fall asleep. Don't beat yourself up about that and trust on some level that you're receiving the instructions. Um, And maybe your body just really, really needed that time. Um, However, you might want to stay seated and try to do it more like a meditation. So let's go ahead and get started here. Thank you so much. Getting ready by coming into a reclining or seated posture. Right, settling in, maybe there are some little movements you wanna make. You could yawn, simulate a yawn, that's a nice relaxation response. You could stretch through the fingertips, through the feet, and then just get settled. Beginning to settle And just noticing what it feels like for you to breathe. You're breathing in, breathing out. Taking a few clearing, cleansing breaths as we enter into this yoga nidra space together. You're welcome to be here, as I always say, in whatever state you're in. So we're just getting settled. Maybe you want to give yourself a little extra support today. That might mean sitting on a cushion, wrapping yourself in a shawl. That might mean getting a blanket, wearing a hat.
just beginning to become aware of the sounds in the room around you. And allowing your awareness to widen out to the sounds that are farthest away. Gradually moving a little closer, your awareness of the sounds that are closer to you. Maybe you can even hear the sound of your own breath coming in and out. Wherever you are, whether you're seated, whether you're reclining, you can take a breath in and as you exhale, just allow yourself to sink into the support below. Really feel held by that support, safe in this space together as a community. And with the sense of support below and with the breath infusing your awareness, I would invite you to turn your gaze softly to an inner landscape of the mind, the mind space. And some of us like to think of this space as right at the center of the eyebrows. But wherever you experience your mind space, we're not straining to see it. We're just becoming aware of this internal mind space and noticing, just noticing what's there right now. It could be nothing at all. You might see some patterns or colors. Just observing this space just as it is. And then we're going to infuse the space with the intention for relaxation today or for nourishment. So into this space, you might mentally inwardly repeat a sankalpa or intention such as I am nourished. I am relaxed. I am refreshed whatever seems to make the most sense for you right now. And then we're just letting that sankalpa or intention float away. And now I will take you through what's called the rotation of consciousness, where you'll move your mind around to different parts of the body. All you'll do is 
infuse that area with your awareness. So let's begin the rotation of consciousness, moving your awareness now to the right thumb. the right second finger, third, fourth, and fifth fingers on the right hand, filling up each individual finger with your awareness on the right hand, all fingers on the right hand. the back of the right hand and the center of the right palm, the entire right hand. Just letting the entire right hand be exactly as it is. Looking within the right wrist, right forearm, right elbow, right upper arm, and the entire right shoulder and all of its complexity. Filling up the entire right arm from the shoulder down to the fingertips with your awareness. The entire right arm. Very good. Now let's move our minds over to the left thumb. Left second finger. Third, fourth, and fifth fingers on the left hand. Each individual finger on the left hand. the back of the left hand and the center of the left palm, filling up the entire left hand with your awareness. Just letting that left hand be exactly as it is right now. As we look within the left wrist, left forearm, left elbow, left upper arm, and the entire left shoulder. The complexity of the left shoulder is filled with your awareness. Just filling the entire left arm with your awareness now from the shoulder down to the fingertips, allowing both arms to be exactly as they are in this moment. So we're moving the mind and the mind only around various body parts. Both arms have been visited. 
Now we're moving down to the toes. Let's see if we can fill all 10 toes with our awareness, starting with the big toes and fanning out one by one, each toe filled with your awareness to whatever degree is possible. Maybe that means you're aware of the space between the toes. The soles of both feet. The tops of both feet. And the heels. We're filling both feet with our awareness and letting both feet rest. Doing nothing in this moment, just receiving awareness. As we continue, we look within both ankles, both shins and calves, the entirety of both knees, and both thighs the fronts and sides and backs of both thighs. Filling the hips with your awareness, hips and buttocks, And now we'll fill the entire right leg with your awareness from the hip down to the toes. Just letting the entire right leg be exactly as it is in this moment. From that right hip down to the right foot, the right toes. Very good. Filling the left leg now, the entire left leg from the left hip down to the left toes. Just allowing that left leg to be as it is in this moment. Feeling both legs with your mind, both legs doing nothing just relaxing, resting, receiving awareness, both arms and both legs. As we now turn our awareness to the belly, allowing both the lower and the upper abdomen to relax, to be soft. The entire abdomen, lower, upper, filled with your awareness. Letting all of that just be what it is without trying to change it. It's moving your mind around your lower and your upper abdomen. And then dropping the awareness like an anchor to the lower back. Lightly touching the whole back of the body with your awareness down at the tailbone, the sacrum, all the way up the entirety of the spine, little by little moving even getting into each vertebra if you so desire, moving up the spine, 
letting the back, letting the spine be what it is. Awareness of the shoulder blades, awareness of the, the neck, the back of the neck. And you might be able to sense the support once again holding you in this moment, supporting you. And you might let yourself rest a little bit into that support. As we now move the mind to the rib cage. And there might be some sensation of breathing in the rib cage. Just observing that. The mind moving to the rib cage, encircling the heart and lungs. The mind moving to the heart center, letting whatever is there be there. And now bringing the awareness to the entire torso, front, sides and back of the torso. All of the internal organs humming along. And allowing this torso, this physical container to be what it is. As we now move our awareness to the throat. The lower lip. The upper lip. The lower and upper jaws. All of the teeth, the tongue resting. Both cheekbones. All of the muscles surrounding your eyes. The eyelids. Both eyeballs. The eyebrows. Bridge of the nose tip of the nose, both nostrils, the forehead and temples and all of the muscles in the face, allowing all of the muscles in the face to just be exactly as they are in this moment. Moving the awareness to all of the skin on the scalp. The base of the skull. And both ears. Everything between both ears. So this is the entire head and face and neck filled with your awareness. This is the entire torso and all of the limbs. This is the whole body filled with awareness and just being in this moment. As we allow the body to relax We can now turn our gaze back to that inner movie screen in the mind, the mind space, without straining, just tuning in to what's in the mind space right now. Some of us might experience the location of the mind space as behind the center of the brow.
and we're gazing into this mind space with curiosity. What's there? Are there any colors or patterns? What can we observe about this space? And now I'll invite you to use the creativity of your mind and begin to imagine with me, to see in your mind's eye a great field. Maybe it's a meadow with wildflowers. Maybe you can see a mountain in the distance. Maybe you can envision a forest at the edge of the field. In your mind's eye, we can experience the sensations of this place, hearing a stream gurgling nearby, feeling the fresh air on our skin, breathing this fresh air. and hearing in the distance a murmur of voices. Maybe the voices are singing some song in unison that is familiar to you, that is comforting to you. And maybe in your mind's eye, you can imagine all of your ancestors walking along together going back for hundreds of years, walking along. You can imagine their faces, their voices, their touch. Maybe they're carrying their most prized possessions with them and you can feel their love and feel their strength. And in our mind's eye, maybe we can imagine the ancestors building some kind of tent, erecting some kind of tent in this beautiful field. What would go inside this tent of yours to make it warm and cozy and safe? In one by one, the ancestors go inside this tent and you can spend a little time with them today, opening up the flap, going into the tent, finding a spot. Maybe there are sheepskins, maybe there's a fire, maybe there's a hot drink to sip upon. And you can imagine your ancestor handing you the bowl of broth, something that they made that's incredibly nourishing. And we can imagine the taste, taking a sip from this cup and, and feeling the nourishment that warms your insides, allowing that to spread and vibrate and, excuse me, radiate, letting this healing broth enter into the very marrow of your bones imagining it is like a liquid gold light that can purify you energize you refresh and nourish you on a cellular level drinking that in receiving that warmth, receiving that strength, that wisdom, that love that is already in you, your muscles, your bones, your veins, your heart.
continuing to sip from that cup. And feel this presence of ancestral wisdom and strength that is always there. Ties us together through the ages. Very good. We're going to carefully leave behind and say goodbye for now. Leaving the tent, leaving the meadow, the mountain behind. Coming back to that mind space front and center observing what is on this movie screen in my mind now. What can I observe? And can I once again plant my seed of intention into this fertile bed of the mind? I am nourished. I am refreshed. I am relaxed. Whatever it is that you need, just planting that now inwardly repeating those words in your own voice internally or in another voice that would be comforting to you. And then letting the seed of intention rest deep, lodged deep within your mind space as we begin to travel out of our state of yoga nidra, gently and carefully, coming back to the sense of having a body. This whole physical container that is your body just noticing it, noticing the support underneath you, filling your body with your breath. Noticing how you feel in this moment. Just taking note. Letting any messages or um, thoughts come through to you now about this practice and how it went for you. And then we can begin to maybe even make a few small movements, licking the lips, swallowing, stretching through the fingertips maybe yawning, rolling the shoulders. And if you've been reclining and you would like to come up to sit, you can do so very slowly. And together we can close our practice, perhaps with the hands at heart center, And we're so thankful for the space that is Yoga Nidra to help guide and nourish us as a community. And perhaps this evening um, we can come back to any of the things that we noticed right before we fall asleep tonight. And maybe notice if we have any particular dreams. And I want to thank you so much for your practice today, friends. It's such an honor and a gift to be with you. Namaste. Namaste.